Hi, and welcome to A Wandering Mind. In this video, we will be talking about one of the most bizarre and interesting wars which only had one casualty, the Quad Wars. Right, let's, let's dive in. Now, it's 1961 and Iceland has passed a law that extends the Icelandic fishery zone from 4 miles all the way to 12 nautical miles. Now, it's important to note that Iceland's a poor nation at this point compared to Western European standards and is primarily dependent on fishing to sustain its economy. But the fish populations have started to migrate southwards, which poses a problem and is a reason for this law. As you might expect, many countries expressed their opposition to this law, most notably the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland which deploys four warships to protect the UK fishermen who want to fish in the new Icelandic fishery zone. And Iceland, in retaliation, deploys seven Coast Guard vessels to stop these UK fishermen from fishing in their waters. Now, this does lead to some minor clashes between the UK fishermen and the Icelandic Coast Guard. But Iceland eventually does realize that it cannot win this battle and uses the only bargaining chip it has its membership of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization which it threatens to pull it out of and it also threatens to expel all NATO forces primarily made up of the United States Army from the base in Iceland at this point the US basically loses its shit because it's the Cold War and Iceland is strategically located in the North Mid-Atlantic. Now the US uses its special relationship with the UK to force it to back off, which the UK does, and the conflict is then resolved with the UK and Iceland making peace with regards to the new fishery laws. Now that's insane. Just to compare, in 1961, Iceland had a population of 170,000. Hackney, the London borough, had a population of 240,000. And the UK had a whopping 52,200,000, which is 320 times more than Iceland. You might also be shocked to find out that this wasn't the only time that this happened. There's a second and third Cold War also. And both of these took place after Iceland repeatedly passed laws to extend its exclusive fishing zone, eventually extending it to 200 nautical miles after the Third Cold War. Even more shocking was the fact that the Second and Third Cold Wars were supported by West Germany, Denmark and Belgium who joined the side of Britain. But in the end, Iceland still ended up winning both wars by threatening to withdraw from NATO. As comical as these wars may seem, there was loss of life in the Third Cold War when an Icelandic engineer was accidentally killed when a British vessel collided with his vessel while he was working on repairs. A trawler man from Grimsby was also injured during one of these clashes. Now, one interesting consequence of the lack of fish in the UK was the exploration of other items to sell in fish and chip shops. This notably resulted in the development of a sausage which could be cooked in a deep fat fryer with collagen skin and this sausage did not split unlike traditional ones and as a result this became a standard product. Hope you guys found that video interesting and thanks for watching. Cheers.